a science and religion poem, uh, the science being fun facts about the natural world, uh, the religion being Nietzsche's The Antichrist. So in combination, it's called The Gospel According to the Antichrist. Uh, to make it clear which is which, uh, I will read the Nietzsche quotes in angry voice. <laughs> the equality of souls before God. This fraud is Christian dynamite, is TNT held in a stabilizing framework to prevent the inconvenient ignition that will one day rip open those closed carbon bonds using the oxygen it already contains to free it all into gas exploding out in search of God on a cross. Is mankind always to miss the frightful inner significance of this sign? Everything that suffers, everything that hangs is divine. We all hang under gravitational forces. Bone resting on bone, compressing our spines. But Einstein's equivalence principle says that only the curve of the earth distinguishes our weight from everyone, uniformly accelerating up towards the Christian concept of a god. God as the patron of the sick. God as the weaver of cobwebs. A god as a spirit is one of the most corrupt concepts that has ever been set up your nuclear fusion reactor. With that pinhead of fuel held in place by spider silk. It will remain strong yet flexible at temperatures where air will freeze to rock to hold steady that ball of all potential to await the incomparable brightness of the kingdom of heaven is for children. It is a sort of recrudescent childishness of the spirit. It does not realize how it will one day set man against man from Old English, meaning person, human being. Sense of adult male emerged around 1,000 years after Christ speaks only of inner things. Light or truth or life is his word. But the innermost in his sight, the whole of reality is nothing save sign and allegory. The equality of souls before God. This is cosmic expansion means our universe is exploding.